Hey, it's Dr. Lily. I just wanted to do a quick video on reconstituting Botox. Okay, so what I typically do is I use a 100 unit vial of Botox. Okay, Botox 100. Okay, then I'm gonna pop this top off, wipe it with some alcohol. Okay. And then I use my Comfort Talks Reconstitution Syringe. Okay, and I'm gonna pull 2.5 milliliters of bacteriostatic sodium chloride. Okay, that's how much we're gonna reconstitute with. But before I do that, I'll pull 2.5 milliliters of chest air and I'll press it into my Botox vial and look what happens, it suctions it up. This will just make it so much more easy for you because it's so pressure dense. So we're gonna pull this to 2.5 and make sure there's no bubbles. Probably won't matter too much, but that's just how I roll. Okay. And then this is, you just plus place it right here. And then again, the pressure is just gonna take it down. Bam. So you'll just kind of roll this around a little bit. Recap our needle. Okay. Um, and then we have 100 units. The syringes that I use to administer um, are 0.5 milliliter. And each 0.5 milliliter will relate to 20 units of Botox. So five full syringes of these will give you your whole 100 unit vial. Um, typically when my, I'm using this for TMJ patients, I'll use the whole 100 units. If I'm using for migraines, I'll use a little bit less than that. A few things really quickly before you reconstitute it, or again, add that bacteriostatic sodium chloride you'll store this in the freezer. And again, this is for Botox. This is just how I um, practice and how I've always practiced. After it's in the freezer, when there is liquid in here, you do not put it back in the freezer because your protein will denature. So you wanna store it in the fridge, but you don't want it to freeze or else the, the Botox will no longer work, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go administer some Botox now, um, but that's how you do it. Pretty straightforward. Thank you.